hello! I didn't see you there. My name is Dr. Nick Peebus, and I am going to show you this beautiful tie. Look at this beautiful tie. Look at this beautiful tie. Do you want to look like this? I bet you do want to look like this. And I am going to teach you how to perfectly tie a tie in many different styles. Let me show you the standard half Windsor. Now the standard half Windsor is easy. You get the big end on one end, the little end on the other end, get them about halfway distance. Put it around your neck. All right? Little end goes over the big end. Hold it with your thumb. All right? Big end goes around the little end. Hold it with your thumb. Bring the big end through and under. Put it through the top and over. There it is. There's your first one. Put it through there. Bring it through the middle, just like this. Put it through the bridge, and then go ahead and tighten, tighten her up. Boom. The good old half winds are not tied. Now, if you're up for a job interview, you want to look powerful, you're going to want to do a full Windsor. None of that uh, half Windsor garbage. So, same rules as before. Get the ties about, oh, you know, somewhere between a halfway uh, of the mark. And uh, go ahead, just like before, big end over the little end, flip it through over and under. Now here's where the full Windsor comes from. Bring it one more time around the opposite way. Bring it up and over, through and under. There it is. Now, just like before, over the top, through the bottom, up through the middle, and then you want to put it through this area. Now get, get it just like this. Now you have a 100% full Windsor tie Go ahead and uh, smash that interview. So you got a wedding coming up. You want to look uh, professional for your professional wedding. This is uh, one of those octo ties. You've seen those crazy knots. So you had to do one for the cheap with your own uh, tie that you have at home. First step, reverse the step. There you go. One over, okay, with a little end. One more over with a little end. Bring the little end up, over, through the top. There it is. See this? This is the mini tie. It goes underneath what we're about to do. Over and under with one. Boom. Get the little end. Over and under with the other one. Boom. There you go. Now one over. One over like this. Put it through the top. And now guess what you have? You have what I call the infinity tie. It's looping through to infinity. And now you have a scientific infinite tie source, power source around your neck. You can't be more powerful than that. Last one's a good one. Uh, you know you know the day, it's dog adoption day. You're going off to the kennel to adopt your new dog. So this is what you're gonna want. You're gonna want the dog knot. So this way the, uh, the kennel people will let you get the dog. If you don't have a dog knot tie on, then they won't let you pick up the dog. So get yourself um, your, your dog tie leash. Um, go ahead, big end, Sardis, big end, Sardis, big end, Sardis, big end, and uh, go up through the top just like this. Bring it on through, around the town, down under, step three, over here, bring it up, over, through, up, and around. Now this is the important step, bring it up, over, through the middle one more time, then kind of twist it a little bit, get it through one step. Get it through the other step. You're gonna wanna make a figure eight on this one. You're gonna wanna put this through here. Then the trick is, once you get this wonderful knot, you clip it over under the, the attached clip. Now you have a perfect dog knot, which will allow you to uh, uh, adopt your doggy. Oh, look at that. Uh, my tiny tie, tie with the uh, peepish tie. Looks uh, nice and professional, I think you'll agree. So, follow my steps and you will be set up for success. Your ties will be perfect and a-okay. I'll see you next time, folks.